Kitty City, the place where displaced, mostly disabled kitties go to live out the rest of their nine lives. You also know it as Triple H Horse Rescue, the place horses go that have nowhere else to go. It's now home to a different breed. They're not horses, they're not kitties, but their story is much the same. Recently at Kitty City, south of Mandan, it became all about the chicks. Yes, 100%. We did not want 25 chickens. But like every other animal at this sanctuary. Somebody got mad at their girlfriend and so took it all in the cat. These chickens come with a story and a past. They looked real bad. Most of them have broken toes and, and of course, their beaks. Um, the tips of all their beaks have been um, taken off, which is painful. Um, and, of course... That's because they're living in such close quarters that then they start pecking each other and then there's blood and then, you know, chickens will just go cannibalistic. They came from a factory farm, the kind where they say cage-free. Cage-free is how they lived. That's cage-free. You're not in a cage, but you have the same amount of room. But it's not how they live today. A lot of them are always down in with the horses. These rescued chicks hang with the horses and follow the felines. Maybe it's because they never were chickens. They've never seen daylight. They don't even know how to roost. So they've had to take on a whole new calling. When we have volunteers come out, the chickens just flock to them. I'm sure they think they're going to get a treat or something. Allison says these chickens will be part of Kitty City forever. Big thing for me from an animal rescue point of view is, you know, animals are raised for food. We know that. That's also a fact of life. I think the level of treatment should still be humane. And although they were never really part of the plan, a sanctuary is a sanctuary, a home for the displaced and disabled who simply need a happy and humane place to live. Allison says part of the reason the birds were about to be gassed was that they weren't producing. She says since they came to Kitty City, that's all changed. They lay about 22 eggs a day, and those eggs are first offered to volunteers. They, the rest are sold. So she says the birds are earning their keep.